don't feel any risk in terms of the value of the property or uh, for my family. Uh, the county, in partnership with the state, have come up with a solution that provides clean water. Uh, we know that it's going to be around for, for a while, so that's why we're definitely investing our money in the green, clean drinking water. I'm very comfortable. I really am very, very comfortable with what's happening. This is managed. This is handled. It's safe, and here are the reasons why. Because it's simply a perception, but the reality is, is that we are providing clean, safe drinking water to everyone you know, in the area and anyone in the future that will need it. When state and federal environmental officials visited Mansalona, Michigan in the 1980s, their presence surprised many local residents. While removing contamination from local groundwater at a nearby site, officials had stumbled upon one of the nation's largest plumes of trichloroethylene, or TCE. Since its discovery, though, the state, along with local officials, are making sure residents aren't exposed to this carcinogenic chemical. The results of their efforts is truly an inspiring case for clean drinking water. Mel Clemens Industries, later known as Wicks Manufacturing, used TCE and vapor degreasers as part of the manufacturing of auto parts in Mansalona from 1947 to 1967. Waste containing TCE was discarded on the ground and in lagoons, where it seeped through the soil and became dissolved into the groundwater. In 1985, the United States Environmental Protection Agency installed monitoring wells along the west side of the plant. Initially, concentrations of TCE were elevated in one of the wells, however all subsequent samplings of these wells indicated that TCE levels stabilized at concentrations near method detection levels. In 1995, the DEQ requested Dura Automotive to conduct an investigation to determine the groundwater quality down gradient of the existing wells and at deeper depths below the ground. Although Dura Automotive was not the responsible party, they voluntarily conducted the investigation. And in 1997, Dura identified concentrations of TCE exceeding 1,000 parts per billion down gradient of the plant site. Dura also sampled residential drinking water wells and installed new drinking water wells at locations that had been impacted by the TCE in the groundwater. In 2002, state funds were allocated to address the Wicks Manufacturing TCE plume site. By 2003, the DEQ urged the Community Resource Development, under the leadership of Gary Knapp, to form a community engagement group. As a result, ACUTE, Antrim County United Through Ecology, was formed. The DEQ has invested over $21 million in the Wicks Manufacturing TCE plume site. Approximately $10 million of that was used to fund the Mansalona Water and Sewer Authority, also known as MASA. The DEQ has invested nearly $11 million and reserved another $2 million to extend water mains to new areas, hook up homes to new and existing water mains if TCE is detected in the residential well, provide funding to the Health Department of Northwest Michigan to sample residential wells near the edges of the TCE impacted groundwater, provide bottled water to residents until they're hooked up to the public system when the TC is identified in their well water at any detectable level even if it's less than five parts per billion. Expand the current monitoring well network and collect groundwater samples twice a year to monitor the location of the TC in the groundwater. Monitor the effects of pumping on the groundwater system to identify engineering alternatives. Sample groundwater and surface water at the Cedar River where TCE and groundwater vents to and annually update the website and technical reports. For a list of ongoing activities funded by the DEQ, visit the Mansalona Township Library, Bel Air Public Library, or the Antrim County Building in Bel Air. In January 2012, ACUE advocated with elected officials and the Michigan House and Senate committees for a $300,000 appropriation to conduct the preliminary engineering study to manage the impact of the TCE plume. The funds were part of the Clean Michigan Initiative funds allocated for this site. After years of researching alternatives, meeting with engineers, and public comment, a cost-effective plan was initiated. 
In 2015, the Antrim County Board of Commissioners approved a resolution between Antrim County and the Mancelona Water and Sewer Authority to appropriate $250,000 in matching funds to secure over a million dollars from the DEQ to install Phase 1 of the TC plume-related improvements to the municipal water system. The initial phase includes storage tanks, booster pumps and water main, and extends the current service area. This was a major turning point towards resolving the TCE issue. During 2016, the contract between Antrim County and the Mancelona Water and Sewer Authority will be finalized and construction bids for the initial projects will be obtained. Groundbreaking is expected to take place in the spring of 2016. And uh, fortunately, the county government uh, conducted a very thoughtful process in relation to um, making a decision about this. I think the majority of the commissioners figured that the approach that is being used now to extend the water uh, was the best one to really take that statement away of thinking that there's polluted water in a certain region of Shish Mountain, Shanty Creek, or in Antrim County. So the DEQ has been on top of this problem from virtually day one, and they have done an excellent job of working with the community to solve the problem. Um, you know, we spent about $10 million alone just in forming the Mancelona Water and Sewer Authority. So with that being said, then that hooked up people that had contaminated drink drinking water wells so and provided them with drinking water that was free of the TCE. And we have um, about 24 wells between those three aquifers. And what they are is they're for first response wells. So if the TCE is detected in those, we're sampling them twice a year. And if it's detected in those, we know we have some time before the Cedar River well field, you know, would be impacted. So right obviously with the municipal system, Water is tested monthly for a lot of the different parameters and, and minimum of, of three to three to nine years depending on what the state determines what needs to be tested. Um, so therefore, you know, versus a, a residential well, they initially get a E. coli test and after that there's not really any testing for uh, your residential well that you own. So um, that way it's always being monitored. Doing is we're doing some other things for some infrastructure right at the existing Cedar River well field. We're putting in a storage tank so that will help with the drawdown so that maybe we're not drawing the TC into those wells. And then the other way we're doing is we're putting in a high pressure line that's going to help that if the Cedar River well field did become impacted, then the wells that are back east of the plume um, in Mancelona, they would be supplying the water to the residents. As far as I see the work that ACUTE's done along with the DEQ and all the other government agencies, everybody's doing the best job they possibly can and the engineering firms, um, they've got a plan and as long as we stick to the plan there shouldn't be any worries whatsoever. I actually own property right in the path and I wouldn't be concerned at all about putting a new well down or worrying about the extension of the water for drinking possibility. And uh, it was a, it was a no-brainer for me. I, I there's zero risk here. I don't feel any risk in terms of the value of the property or uh, for my family in terms of our house. I built here in 2000, so I've been living up here for 16 years, and I had my concerns. Uh, but as I've been involved with this and understand what's going on, I have no concerns today whatsoever because I know. This is a priority for the DEQ. They know what's going on. They're monitoring it. Uh, MAZA has been taking care of the necessity of getting clean, safe drinking water to the residents when they need it. So I look at the future as being very bright in that regard. Uh, I just don't have a concern about it. There's no risk of exposure. My pure, clean, fresh drinking water comes from a water well that's outside of the area that's impacted. It's safe. It's fine. You're not at risk. We're seeing as you would on any other real estate you're interested in. There is no risk. It's all managed.